Uh, so now I'm going to uh, uh, install the spoon holder on the top of the printer. So it's in like two parts. So first you put this one actually, and uh, you try to screw them and tighten the screws. You can use it your hand first and then if you need a hex key, then you can use it. Just mm, not too tight, but tight it a bit. Just make sure it's not loose. And uh, this is the other part. Just very easy, actually. Doesn't need even explain. So just tighten it, make sure it's all right. And then this is the filament. So you just put the filament in. And uh, the next step is I'm going to explain to you how to uh, prepare the uh, printer and uh, how to uh, level the print bed. So now I'm going to explain how to level the bed print. So we turn on the printer. And you see the Van Hau logo. And then you press the button and then you go to quick setting. Again, to quick setting. And the first option is home all. You just press it. and it automatically goes to the home. One thing I, I, I want to explain to you is about uh, i3, if you want to level the bed, you need to disable the motors, you know, stepper motors. Uh, otherwise, you can't, uh, you can't move the print bed or the extruder. But in i3 Plus, uh, it's not like this. You know, when the stepper motors also working, uh, there's no problem, you can, you can move the bed. But if you see now, if you don't disable the stepper motors, then you cannot move the print bed. So I press the disable stepper, and now you can move the print bed normally. So what is next is, uh, you see, I, I, I go to home Z again, I go to home again. All right, so I just put the printer a bit closer. If you have done this before, actually, uh, normally they use the one uh, piece of paper or a business card, try to you know, know about the height of the, the gap between the nozzle and the print bed. Uh, if you are expert enough, actually you don't need, you just can see. But if you want, if this is your first time, you can use a paper or a business card or name card just to know the gap between the nozzle and the print bed. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, there are four uh, screws uh, around the print bed. You just can level them. And uh, I, I put the paper here. So I think this gap is uh, good enough just uh, to make sure it's not, uh, it shouldn't be very close and it shouldn't be very uh, high from the bed level. And then we go to the back one. So you can loosen it again a little bit. And this one also is good. And then we go for the right side. This one is to be using more even. But actually, because I, I've done this many times, I, I don't use paper, I don't use name card. But when I see the gap, I can, I can level it. So, but if for you it's the first time, it's better you use. And you see also this gap is good and then you move back the loosen this again and then you use paper just to make sure the gap is big enough and then you need to change the, to check it again because when you try to level the uh, four spot of the printer the other one changes a little bit so this one is a bit close so I just tighten it a little bit, check it again, back left, I loosen it again, 
and check it again. This is good. I move the extruder and I feel this is also good. Yeah, it's very good. And then the top one, I need to, all right. And this one is good. And then again, I just try to check by my eyes if there is anything need to be changed. So what I feel for now is everything is okay for the fourth side of the print bed. And uh, that is almost ready for your first print. And then now I'm going to explain how you uh, pre-head the printer and insert the filament inside.